Story Box presents a present from the rainforest. On my birthday, the postman brought me a package. It was from my aunt Isabella, who lived in the Amazon rainforest. She always remembered my birthday. Inside the package was a wooden box. Inside the wooden box was a cage. Inside the cage, there was a strange little plant. It had teeth. There was also a letter from Aunt Isabella. Happy birthday, Clara. This is Simona, an extremely rare plant. Take good care of her. I'm sure you will become friends. Become friends? How could I become friends with a plant? I put the plant by a window and said quietly, "I hope you'll be okay here. It's the sunniest spot in the house." I thought I heard Simona purring like a kitten. I must have been dreaming. Plants don't purr. As we were clearing the table, Dad said, "Clara, did you eat the last piece of cake?" The last piece of cake. No way! I never even touched it. Simona had been in the house for a week. Six fried fish, a dozen eggs, and half a jigsaw puzzle had disappeared. Simona was growing bigger and bigger. Mum was surprised. She said, "I've never seen a plant grow so fast." One Sunday, Mum cooked a tasty roast chicken. As she put it on the table, I was sure I saw Simona moving. Dad, Mum, Simona moved. My parents didn't believe me. Plants don't move. Then I had an idea. I said, "Simona, do you want a piece of chicken?" With one gulp, Simona swallowed the whole chicken. She spat out the bones onto the plate one by one. Mum and Dad looked on in amazement. When she had had enough, Simona began to purr loudly like a lion. <laughs> Dad understood what was going on. Fried fish, eggs, the jigsaw puzzle—that plant ate them all. Poor Simona," said Mum. "She must have been really hungry." From then on, there were four of us at the table at meal times. There was Dad, Mum, me, and Simona. Dad and Mum quickly got used to it. Simona helped to lay the table, and especially to clear it. Aunt Isabella was right. Simona and I had become friends. Even though she had a huge jaw and ate everything, she was a very kind plant. When we played football, she was a great goalkeeper too. Well, if she didn't swallow the ball, then one day Mum and Dad invited our neighbour, Mrs. Garcia, to come and have tea. Simona wanted to look her best, so I put Christmas decorations on her to make her sparkle from her roots to her jaw. When Mrs. Garcia arrived, she saw Simona and frowned. Why have you got a Christmas tree in April? It's a、uh, a bit of a weird-looking Christmas tree, isn't it? Simona didn't want people thinking she was a Christmas tree, so she went right up to Mrs. Garcia and gave a great big roar. Roar! Mrs. Garcia was terrified and shrieked. Ah!、Oh, this plant is a monster. I bet it ate my cat, my poor little cat. I've been searching everywhere for him since yesterday. Simona didn't like being accused of eating cats. She was very upset. She climbed out of the window to calm down and get a breath of fresh air. She pulled herself up onto the roof, and what did she see? Mrs. Garcia's cat was trapped behind the chimney, looking very scared. Simona gently took hold of the cat and handed it down to Mrs. Garcia. My darling little cat! cried our neighbour. Then she said to Simona, "I'm 
going to make you a huge chocolate cake to say thank you. But that evening, Simona gave a long, sad sigh. Ah! <sighs> she was bored. She missed the rainforest. Then Dad had an idea. He took us all to the cinema to see a film about the Amazon. When we came out, Mum had an idea too. Why don't we go there for our holidays? So that year, we spent our holidays with Aunt Isabella and Simona in the most amazing place on Earth, the Amazon Rainforest. The End <laughs>